Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to the next tutorial video here on duct tape creations. Uh, so in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a duct tape painting. So it's going to be really cool. Hope you enjoy. And let's get started. Okay, so to make a duct tape painting, it's really easy. Uh, you're just going to start getting some canvas uh, or whatever you choose. I'll just list off the things you can use. Uh, you can either get this foam board here, which I've been using. Uh, I actually just discovered recently when I did the flash time lapse. This is like really good to use. It's not that expensive and it's really close to... Uh, Canvas is like uh, the way ca uh, can actual canvas feels. It's pretty sturdy, it doesn't bend, so that's really nice. Uh, and if you don't have any of the foam board on hand or any canvas, uh, you can use uh, cardboard or you can just use um, or you can just use duct tape and make a huge sheet of tape and put this, the design on the front of it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. There's many ways you can uh, choose what's going to be the uh, your uh, surface you're going to be the surface you're using for the painting. It's there's a lot of different choices, so that's really cool, really convenient. Uh, so really just to make a duct tape painting, like I said, that's the first thing you're going to need. And then the other thing, obviously, you're going to need is duct tape, or if you don't really want to use tape, use paint uh, if, you're use, if you're doing an actual painting, but this is how to make a duct tape painting. So you're just going to pretty much start off with any colored duct tape you want. I'm actually just going to take some of this uh, orange tape here. And you can just stick it onto the canvas however you like, make a design on it, maybe like sort of abstract art thing. Uh, or you can do uh, do what I do for usually some of my time lapses, is just put designs of different characters on them, which is really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing just like a simple one here, just to demonstrate what you do, just sticking strips on in different uh, ways to make like a really cool pattern. So I'm just going to start off sticking this orange one down here at the bottom. I'll take my scissors here and just uh, cut this off at the bottom. So let's see if I can get that there real quick. There we go, a little bit of a weird angle, but got it. Okay, so yeah, just stick that on, you stick the tape right onto your surface, uh, whether it be canvas, cardboard, or whatever you're using. Okay, and then you just uh, bend it over to the other side. And now, if you're using foam board for this, it can get a little tricky folding it over to the other side because of the uh, how thick it is on the other side compared to canvas. Uh, but it's up to you, you don't have to fold it over to the other side. I usually like to so it stays on the uh, on the surface better. Now, so it looks a little bit cleaner, and then if you want to uh, uh, square off the bottom, like on the other side, like you can see it will turn off like this, have these weird pieces off. If you want to fix that, you can just stick uh, pieces of tape covering that up, or just cut some of it off, or not fold it over like I said. It's pretty easy. So there you can see I have the orange piece of tape right there in the corner. Now, so now I think it's going to take uh, some white tape here. Uh, so now... Doing a duct tape painting, most of the time the surface is white, like this foam board or canvas. Uh, using white tape, you don't really have to use white tape if you're just putting something on a white background. Uh, I usually use white tape because it, it keeps the duct tape look to it, and I think that looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, so it's up to you if you don't want to use white tape on for something that has a white background or not. It's up to you. So, so you just pretty much just continue this, just sticking the tape on. And sorry about any headphone users uh, with that with the tape ripping there if it's a little loud for you. So I'm just going uh, to cut that off there. And you just keep doing this down until you reach the end of the canvas. Just make like a really nice pattern on it. And now you don't have to do like what I'm doing right now, just like uh, alternating different colors and making a cool pattern. I can just make it one solid pattern and then put a design on it or something. That's all up to you. So that's really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to finish this up here just sticking on the uh, different... Uh, colors of tape I'm going to have on, and then I'll show you the finished product, uh, product and I'll show you different uh, creations I've made uh, using all the different forms of, uh, of surfaces you can use for paintings. Uh, so I'm going to finish this and I'm, we'll keep move on to that. Okay, so I just finished taking all the strips on here to make this cool um, abstract kind of painting, just with the strips going like diagonally, vertically in different ways, so that's really cool. Uh, so this is just a basic way of making a painting if you're just starting off, uh, so that's really nice. Uh, so if you want to make like, more complex paintings, like the ones you've seen in my time lapses with like uh, Patrick Starr and all that, which I'll show you in a few minutes, so if you haven't got to see them. Uh, so yeah, it's just like, uh, this is a perfect start, uh, way to start off paint, uh, doing paintings if you didn't, uh, if you're just learning how to do it. Just start off doing this and you can get, once you get better, you can start doing designs on it, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, if you do like designs on wallets, uh, that's really easy, you can just uh, copy that to a larger scale into a painting. And doing it on a painting is a lot easier than a wallet because it's not as small. Uh, so there's another cool thing to do. So yeah, 
Uh, so one thing I want to mention before I move on to anything else, uh, all these little fold-over lines back here, there are ways to fix that if you don't want them. Uh, you can either just stick strips of tape here to make a borderline covering all of them up and just keep them sealed down, uh, or you can just uh, or you can just avoid uh, flipping them over to the other side all completely by just sticking them on the top and not flipping them over, that's one way. Um, or you can just take an exacto knife or something and just cut off, cut off a little bit of it and make a straight line so it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, so yeah, there are different ways of fixing that, so that's all up to you. Uh, so yeah, this is just a basic abstract one you can do if you're starting off, like I said. And then if you're getting better at it and you've made designs on wallets, you can do this kind of thing here. Uh, so this is really cool, Patrick Sauber and I did it a while back. Just use canvas on this one, so that's really nice. Uh, so now canvas is a really nice um, a material to use while making a painting. You can also use a uh, foam board, like I said, which is uh, a really good material. It's really close to how canvas feels. Uh, so yeah, if you remember this, the flash one I did with the with the foam board. This is a solid background. You can do that. Showing different way, different ideas you can do. Uh, so yeah, this one's just, just like I said. Uh, you can use either one. Uh, so now, besides foam board and canvas, you do have other options like making a full sheet out of duct tape, like this one here, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it uses up a lot of tape depending on the size uh, of the sheet you make. Uh, so yeah, this one, it's convenient to use if you don't have any other materials like uh, a canvas, foam board, cardboard, or something like that. If you do have the amount of tape you can use, it's perfectly fine to do this. Really cool. It does um, flop around a little bit, which is okay, I suppose, but no big deal. Still really cool. And with this, you don't get those fold-over lines because it's all duct tape, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, this is one way of doing it, and then the other way is also using cardboard, which is this one, which I use for the Ben 10 painting. Uh, so yeah, there's cardboard here on the back. Not a big fan of using cardboard all the time. Uh, it's kind of flimsy, and it's not the best material, but you can use it if you don't have anything else. That's really nice. A lot of different ways you can customize, or uh, a lot of different ways you can customize a painting, and different materials you can use for the ba uh, backdrop, or whatever you want to call it for the painting, uh, whatever you're sticking this tape on. So that's really cool. So yeah, and then like you, instead of the cutting out the smaller canvases or smaller pieces of cardboard, uh, you can either do what I did here, like you can just use, uh, this is the bigger size canvas, I did like this, uh, 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 like the static screen or the test screen for old TVs or something, uh, so I did that, just for it on a larger canvas, which you can see doesn't really fit on the camera screen, which is, uh, it's bigger than you actually think, which is kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, so that's one thing you can do. You can also cut out the foam board and cardboard to be bigger sizes to make bigger sheets if you want to. So yeah, so it's really cool. That's pretty much all there is to making a duct tape painting. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. And if you like what you see on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Really help the support. I mean, really appreciate the, uh, the support. So yeah, so once again, thanks for watching. As always, just enjoy the one of those duct tape.